everyone. Um, I've been having a weird couple of weeks. I haven't been posting, I haven't been uploading anything really. And I've been trying to pack, clean, move things, try to get everything together. And I have not been feeling great about myself. Gotta be 100% about that. I've been applying to a whole bunch of different jobs. I've been trying to do anything I can to make my move easier. I had to quit my old job. Quit. Get laid off. It's a gray area of what happened there. But, um... I've been feeling very self-conscious. I've been feeling gross. I haven't been feeling good about myself. And I haven't even been on YouTube. And that's been happening. And usually people... That happens when they're on YouTube. So... I figured I should make some sort of video to tell you guys what I've been feeling. Not have it in my high pitch. Hello everyone. And... You know, be legit, be me. Wear the shirt that did not come up correctly when I had it made to be merch shirt, so that's fun. Uh, the cat's gonna stop by every once in a while. But this is gonna be me getting ready for a day that's never gonna happen. <laughs> so, I'm gonna be putting all this makeup on, I'm gonna be fixing my hair, I'm gonna be like, this happened and this happened. And yeah, and I have no clue how to do makeup, so not clickbait, in case you were wondering. I had to learn from YouTube, from drag queens, and from uh, different people, so I learned a few different things. I never had female friends that taught me how to do makeup. I never had any of that, because every time they were like, oh, let me do this for you. They did it the way they wanted to do it, and not the way I thought looked good on me. And so I literally just looked like what I would consider a clown, or the flag of Japan, where the entire face was white, and then you had just had red lips in the middle, and they're like, oh, you look beautiful. Or like, covering yourself in bronzer. I'm like, bronzer, bronzer should not be a setting powder, but these women did not understand that. I don't know very much, but I know that much. And, um, I'm going to show you how I contour, how I do my highlights, how I try to pretend that these dark circles under my eyes from only sleeping two to four hours a night don't, aren't, don't, aren't there. Uh, I already plucked my eyebrows, so I saved this a whole half an hour, hour, because I did my chin hair, my mustache, and my eyebrows. You're welcome. Even though in this lighting, which is terrible, you can't really see. Because beauty light does this. So, I have a beauty light. It's right here. It's a giant, gorgeous mirror, but it makes me look like I'm in a VHS tape from the 90s and it's staticky, so that's not happening. Uh, I have my regular lights that I used to use from my channel in the kitchen on me right now. Um, and it's making my chin look slimmer because there's a shadow and I'm okay with that. My hair is all up. Got this thing in. So, let's start. Now, like I said before, I have no clue what I'm doing. So, this might be a really funny fail video. Let's see what happens. Um, I don't like the feeling of lotion and moisturizers and stuff. So I use just regular aloe vera gel for like a dollar that doesn't have any alcohol in it. I just use pure aloe vera gel. I don't like, I get really oily and I don't like the way lotion feels on my face and on my skin so I never hardly put any on. They're like, oh, but you look blah blah blah. I was like, I look young because my face is round. I'm nearly 30 years old and I look like a toddler except for this eye bags and wrinkles here. And you know what? I'm aware. Now, 
let that dry. Usually I have my hair sh my, um, hair dryer next to me. And I'll just put the hair dryer on me and I'll put it on the cold setting and I'll just go which I might go do in a minute. If I gotta go get that, I'll be right back. If I can reach. Ah. Ah. And we're back. I made it. I have my hair dryer. It's a Revlon hair dryer that I bought for ten dollars about five, six years ago. I don't know. But this is what I have. And I take it and I put it on the cold setting and I put it all the way up to high when it actually works. See what happens? Okay, and there we go. Good enough. It actually dried while I was doing going get it, but yeah. Um oh that's moisturizer moisturizer gel. I use a bunch of uh, very cheap products because um I hardly ever make, I hardly ever wear makeup, and when I do, I don't like to spend very much money on it. Sorry, there's something flying. <laughs> I don't like to spend very much money on it, so I have all Elf, Maybelline, Hard Candy stuff like that. So this is the Elf, it's the pink poreless face primer I'm gonna use. Now, doing this video to make me feel better. Because I kept seeing all those videos of this of these women that are like had to spend a day without makeup. I spend most of my days without makeup, and they're like, "Oh, I felt so bad about myself when I didn't have all my makeup on, or finally forget out how beautiful I was when I didn't have my makeup on." And well, if it helped them, let's see if it can help me. Slapping this shit on my face, make me pretty. Slapping all this goo on my face. Hoping it makes me pretty. Alright, there we go. Grab a little towel off screen. Ha ha! Alright, got my primer on, got my moisturizer on, got that. Now, while well, that soaks in a bit, I've got foundation. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte for oily normal greasy skin but the thing is I went on a trip and I got really really tan so I had to get a darker color but I've since not gotten any sleep stayed inside and gotten very pale so I'm glad I bought two different colors <laughs> you can see one and the other yeah so I'm also very sweaty and very pink right now which I normally aren't because <laughs> of these giant heat lamps in front of me and the fact that I'm sweating and nervous every time I get in front of this camera. So, eight minutes and just getting the foundation. I got this. Alright. Now, I don't use brushes for a liquid foundation. I use a beauty blender. I invested and got an actual beauty blender way before, way after the trend had started. But I like the sponge because I used to use the triangle beauty sponges before and I'm like I like that it's a big sponge you can hold and you can reuse. So that's why I have it. And I'm gonna be using what number is this? 125. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mix some of my old color, which is the 322 in it in with it. But not much. So I'm mixing 120 125 and 322. Like you care. <laughs> And put a little bit on my hand. That's probably entirely too much, but I like to put a lot of foundation because I don't like my skin. <laughs> and swirl that around. Yay! I like swirling it because it makes in the colors. I think that's cool. And the color matches my hand, so I think we're doing good. It's really hard to find my match for foundation and stuff because I kind of like have an odd olive yet I have olive complected plus like yellow but oranges always work I don't know I'm weird and I know to bounce not to streak that's what I learned but 
back in the day I did learn to use hairspray instead of setting spray. So, whatevs. Do like this. I have a mirror right here and one right there. But yeah. And before there's I don't think there's gonna be enough controversy at all because I'm not big enough of a channel for that. But you don't need makeup to feel pretty. You don't need makeup for confidence. I've tried everything else and this is just what I'm trying now. <laughs> and I do have someone in my life that's been supportive and stuff like that. He's been helping me. He's been like, every day I'm like, I feel gross. He's like, you're not gross, you're beautiful. You tell me I'm beautiful doesn't make me feel less gross. But I do appreciate it. And it does not help, but it makes me, you know, maybe consider that I might be less gross. Yeah, that matches. Good. Now, I have only been to a Sephora once. I only do drugstore. Like I said, I'm poor. Not poor, but yeah, poor. So... <laughs> And if you didn't know me from the other videos I've made, I usually make food. First couple times I did it, I wore makeup, and then I'm just like, I was over it. So if you want to see what I used to do, do my makeup and things like that, you can go look at some of my recipe videos. If you want to see how bad I can make, I can make my face look, you can go see my um, Valentine's Day one. Where uh, it looked, I tried to do a red lipstick with a purple dress and it ended up looking very, very bad. So, if you want something else to look at as a reference to how bad I am at this, there's lots of content on that. <laughs> and I actually did my makeup for my cousin's wedding because I didn't like the way I didn't tell them this. But I didn't like the way my cousin's makeup was done at her wedding. I didn't say anything. But they did the whole Japan flag thing where they were all white, dark eyes, and a bright red lip. So it looked like, before they had the eyeshadow done, they literally looked like the flag of, J the, the, the flag of Japan. Where it was all white, bright red. I'm like, mm. I, I I have the face for red lipstick, but I don't have the confidence to pull it off. So when they were like, oh, if you don't have the money, we'll pay to get your makeup done for you. I'm like, I'm good. I know she's a professional. She is probably very good at her job. But the way they all wanted their makeup done, I couldn't handle it. Did it photograph the way I did it? No, because I didn't do mine dark enough. Because I wanted to look good in person. <laughs> now, the pictures count in weddings. I know that for sure. But even in the pictures, they still look like the flag of Japan, and not my thing. Pulling these out. Trying not to look at the mirror too much, so I can look at the camera. Because I know I tend to not look at the camera when I usually do these. take my darker foundation and put just a little tiny bit of it if I can even do a little tiny bit and I'm going to do that around my neck and down here to do some of my contour so it's foundation but my contour stick is kind of like ick right now it's down to the nub and I only have a bunch of powder foundations and stuff like that but I just take this darker shade and I'm going to bring it out at the bottom where I'm going to contour. Help that get a little darker. Blend that in. I love these lights because they're casting a shadow over my entire chin. <laughs> and I don't like my chin and I don't like my neck because I find they're far too round. They're like, oh, when you lose more weight, it'll it'll be less round. No, it won't. I had a lot of general surgery, and they had to like not break my jaw, but I had to wear like headgear and stuff. So my actual jaw is this shape. And 
and not really into that. So, yeah. Okay, almost ready for the setting powder. Okay, setting powder, right here. Yay. I'm gonna wipe some of this stuff off my hand though. I have wipes off camera too. I like, I used to feel, I watch the YouTube videos of people doing makeup and stuff. I will never be on their level. I will try. <laughs> I, will, I know I will fail, which makes me feel better about trying to begin with. But, um, I watched a whole bunch more before I tried to do this. Try to get some sort of feel for it. So, I'm not completely, completely lost, but I'm still very lost. And they're like, oh no, you did fine, you did fine. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I got this, a setting powder. Now, I know to get translucent, but um, I bought this before the before I knew to get translucent, so this is actually a, a colored, like tinted face powder, and it's um, CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder. So we're gonna do that after we do. Um, Concealer. I remembered. And I remember which. I totally remember which container it was in. I do, I promise. Aha! Oh, that's finger polish. And it's in, I have a big bucket. This is literally my entire thing, and it has no toothbrush and toothpaste in it, also. Oh, that's eyeshadow primer. I do own eyeshadow primer. Yay! My concealer is not on the table, so I'm going to go grab that and I will be right back. If I can reach the button. Alright, I found concealer. It was um, about to be packed into my make my bathroom stuff, so I had to go look for it. Now this is probably going to be too light. This is Maybelline, so I'm just going to do... Yeah, that's entirely too light. But the elf one I have wipes off, so this is what we're working with. A little bit on the forehead. A little bit on the chin. And we're gonna take beauty blender and Now, I used to watch a lot of YouTube because I didn't really have people coming over to my house and when people did come over to my house, they were mean and they would use me. So after a while, when I cut all my friends off, I would watch YouTube to kind of like feel less lonely because I wasn't dating anyone, didn't really have any friends to hang out with. So it was nice to like have some sort of social interaction with YouTube. So that's why I used to watch like middle-aged women like cleaning their house and organizing and people doing their makeup and Shane Dawson being Shane Dawson. Love him by the way. If you want to adopt me, I'm cool with that. I know how to cook and I can fake Chipotle and make it vegan so what's up? <laughs> And if you don't believe me, I have several videos <laughs> of me making uh, vegan breakfast burritos and burritos in general and cakes and stuff. Because this is supposed to be a, um, a recipe channel. It's a vet recipe and vlog channel, but it is supposed to be a recipe channel and I'm aware of that. But I figured... This would give me content, I'd be able to put something up that people might actually want to watch. So it would work out. Yes, I am very shiny. 
but I'm working on it. Do dabs of concealer first. How many videos did it take to me for me to be half decent at this? And not nearly as faily as somebody else would? A lot. I had no life for a very long time. The only reason I'm doing this now is because not that there's no food in the house, but I don't have the confidence to make food right now. And um, I'm not gonna start any drama, but there's a lot of people that used to do makeup that don't on YouTube anymore. So I figured there'd be an end somewhere. If that's rude, if that's mean, I apologize. But I hardly get any views, I hardly have any subscribers, so I figured not that many people are going to see this. And if I end up like viral or something like that, Ellen hit me up because my vehicle died four times last week. My job ends in three days. I don't have another job. And all the money I have is pretty much already spent. I'm broke. And you can scare me, I'm cool with that. Because I like scary things. Now, I do use a kabuki brush for all over. Because I just find it's faster. I'm like, Amber, you didn't bake. No, I didn't bake. I know how, I think. I think I know how. But I do put a lot of powder in general, because I am very oily. These are not beauty lights, so I'm going to be shiny the whole video. But yeah, this is me hanging out and doing something instead of sitting on the bathroom floor being sad. So, this should be fine hair is stuck. Okay. A little bit more powder on my forehead. Then we're going to get to on highlight and contouring. Okay. I need my neck. Forgot about my neck completely. Because I'm nervous. I really like to scrub the powder in. <laughs> Like I said, I have no clue what I'm doing. This is me pretending. And what I would do for a night out. Or something like that. I hardly ever wear this stuff. And the stuff I have is cheap. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh. Face stuff. Okay. I have to think for a second. Sorry. Alright. Move the eye stuff out the way I brought it up too, too early. Okay. I got contour. I got palette from e.l.f. Everything is labeled when I bought it, so I would remember after I got rid of the packaging. I got blush palette. It's got like a highlight shade in there, I think. And I got a bronze palette. And they're all e.l.f. Okay. Oh, the cat's being a psycho. Let's see if we can get her to come over here. Here's the cat, in case anybody wanted some cat content. Say hi. Say hello. Nope. Okay. I still love you. Hopefully. There's your door. Sorry. Okay. Let's do contour, bronzer, blush. Now, this is a very large tapered brush. This is what I use for my contour. Because, um, yeah. I, it's small enough to do inside my nose, but big enough to do the whole bit. So I only use this brush for contour. And I'm gonna grab oh, that's bronzer. I'm gonna grab the contour. I'm gonna grab like you care. I'm gonna grab this one and this one from the bottom of the the contour kit. And I'm gonna do my entire jawline. <laughs> All the way at the bottom. Right 
and just coat it in it. I'm actually looking in the thing for the camera now instead of in the mirror. Okay. And I do around my chin like that. I'm going to put a bunch of powder and then I'm going to take the beauty blender. So this is just to put it down. All down my neck. Because I want it to not exist. So I'm just going to put that all down here. As dark as possible. <laughs> Leave as much cover it up in, in the shadows as possible. My neck were a superhero, it would be Batman. Because it stays in the shadows. Okay. Now, I have the e.l.f. sponge that I use. Because it's harder and it presses it in more. I know I still have the rest of my face, but I'm going to do this real quick. I probably need a darker contour shade. Yeah, do darker contour shade. Until you can do it. Yeah, I don't like having a neck because my neck and my chin is all of it is round. And even though I lost a whole bunch of weight, like last year, the stresses of that I've had in the last few weeks have not really helped me with eating healthy and working out and being the kind of person I would like to be, which is a person that works out and has a stable life. Okay, those. Like, I probably don't even need to contour my nose, but I will anyway. I'm do the forehead, because I hate my forehead. Even though people are like, oh, you have such a tiny head. I hate my forehead, and I, fo I find it's more like a five or six head instead of a forehead. So we're going to do that. For some reason it doesn't feel like any of the color is coming off the brush, even though I am pressing quite hard. Mine isn't a three, it's more like a C, where it's like all the way down and like coat it. Like that. Like actual paint. And then I do this side. I've been here for 20 minutes already. So if you stuck with me this long, I appreciate it. My views for videos that are quite long don't really get seen as much. Or people like watch the first five minutes and then they go away. So if you're staying this long, I appreciate it. Uh, that might face everyone makes when they do. I don't do because that does nothing, because all this is one piece. So I have to go and like, stretch out my whole face, because that does nothing. <laughs> okay, good. I don't have a chin anymore. Yay! Okay, bronzer. I'm gonna go over that, but it's gonna make it sparkly. And I have a flat brush for that somewhere. Oh. Is that highlighter? No, that's not. This? No, that's that one's spark. This one. This one. And I'm gonna take the bronzing palette. And I'm gonna do this one right here. Really dig into it. Like even though I got darker foundation. I didn't get darker bronzer or anything else. So all of this is just kind of blending in. Because <laughs> uh, I really should have got like darker everything. And I just got darker foundation. And 
in case you don't know, I'm not at work right now. I'm here. But if you guys want to talk about work, we'll talk about work. I worked with special needs elderly people for five years of my life. I did it in the afternoons and part time, pretty much whenever they said, we need help, can you come help us? I was out the door and I went go help the people. Now, this is not saying anything about those people. Those people love me. They are like my family, they're my family. And they didn't want me to, to leave. Years and years, I'd be like, find somebody else to do this. I'll stay until you find somebody else. And they purposely told me, we don't want to find anybody else. We trust you. We love you. You're the one we want to have this job. So they didn't try to find me. They didn't try to find anyone else for it until I desperately said, I need something new. Well, little did I know that when I quit for real, I wasn't really quitting, I was kind of being laid off because the programs that were in place by the state and by whatever that actually paid me, well, they helped pay with the care that I gave. They don't exist anymore. And that's a whole tangent I'm probably going to go on to in a minute. But I did quit my job, but I technically got laid off at the same time. I said, oh, I need a new job, I need a new job. But right when I said I needed a new job, my job didn't exist anymore, pretty much. So, and it's nothing, it's not the people's fault, it has nothing to do with them. It's the people that are supposed to help us out, the people that have programs that are supposed to help people that I take care of don't do their jobs. They take too long to do their jobs. They're understaffed themselves. And it just really shows you how much the government, the state, whoever does not take care of its people. It doesn't. And this is not supposed to be a political whatever, but we don't take care of each other. In the whole world, I don't think people take care of each other enough. And that makes me sad. And like, yeah, I'm just some random girl on YouTube putting on makeup because I've been having a bad week. But, you know, if everyone was nicer to each other, people actually cared, took care of each other. I might not be doing makeup on YouTube right now. I might actually be outside <laughs> living my life, working, making